And thank you so much and uh, how much we appreciate each of you giving us your time today. Uh, General Baudet and the um, your I want to come to you on your modernization line of effort. You had a line in here I really like. We will reduce bureaucracy and optimize our processes to deliver what the warfighter requires at the speed of need. And in my opinion, that is something that we absolutely have to do. And that requires that we get rid of some of these stove pipes that exist within the Pentagon and that we begin to look more cross platform. We're just talking about having the human capital that we need to do the job and what is necessary for 21st century warfare. And some of these skill sets you are going to draw from different areas and they need to be able to work together. So in this endeavor, have you encountered processes external to your headquarters element that are stifling any modernization efforts? Senator, thank you as well as for your tremendous leadership and support of our 5th Special Forces Group and Night Stalker community. My aspiration is for us to have the ability to buy, try, decide new technologies, developing, burgeoning, harness the innovative engine of America at the lowest level humanly possible. And we are explicitly team focused. And for us, trust and empowerment goes down to absolutely the lowest level of our special operations formation. So any opportunity we may have to best connect with America's innovation engines out there at speed in post-industrial age processes will be hugely important to us. Whether we're partnering with academia or we have opportunities to learn from young men and women across America by presenting our problems, our challenges, and give them the opportunity and the ability to help us out. I think we are making progress in that space, but we could always use as much flexibility as possible and as much opportunity, if you will, as possible to do this early and often. Thank you. Let me ask you this. To date, do you have any internal successes that you have said, we tried this, this worked, uh, this we can replicate? Any successes you want to report on? Senator, absolutely we do. So I'll use some of our opportunities by partnering with academia, for example, at MIT and Tufts. We present students with challenges that are complex, somewhat intractable to us and difficult to solve, whether it's operating in denied environments, using small sensors, unmanned sensors, if you will, the ability to breathe, to operate, to communicate, to see in spaces in which we're not operating to advantage our men and women to sustain lethality. We've had a great opportunity with Vanderbilt as an example to work on some mission command and control systems, if you will, for the 160th Special Ops Aviation Regiment, which ties in our synthetic training opportunities. It's cost effective, and it's also nested with our live and other virtual training venues so we can really challenge as much as possible our men and women in the training base in order to optimize their success. Well, you mentioned that Pathfinder program, uh, which University of Tennessee and Vanderbilt are in pro involved in that, and they are working to solve some of those issues that the 160th faces. And I would be interested to know if uh, you take unit level and individual uh, feedback as you are looking for these um, for these reforms and for new ways to approach this technology utilization. Senator, absolutely, thank you. We're we're blessed with an extremely talented um, and insightful population, and they're not shy about their opinions of how I can do my job better in order to best support them. So we get a tremendous amount of feedback and they do have great ideas. And we find that often with the system and the process that you mentioned, if we frankly just get out of the way and we connect 
America with our young men and women operators who have those operational problems there. We get the best results. And so we've restructured our force modernization environment with the support of the Army Futures Command as well. And frankly, a lot of our local initiatives and efforts by getting out of the way of the units and allowing them to contact and to learn and associate and partner and problem solve with you know elements of the local community, we're finding our best results. Okay, thank you so much. And my time has expired. I'm actually over time. But um, Admiral Howard, I have a question I'm going to send to you on NSW and General Glenn. I have a MARSOC question that I am going to send to you on. It's a recruiting question. So, Mr. Chairman, I yell back. Thank you.